The lunar eclipse will be visible the 15th and 16th. I think that's Sunday and Monday this week. And Shamani's back to tell us what that means yes. uh, from an astrological standpoint. So welcome. Yeah, thank you. It's so fun yeah. to be back. Oh, absolutely. So what what does that mean? What is a lunar eclipse? How does that affect us here? Okay, right. So two weeks ago there was a solar eclipse. Um, so the sun was eclipsed from visibility. So now on Sunday night there will be a lunar eclipse and the moon will be eclipsed from visibility. So the earth gets in between the sun and the moon and blocks out like any shadow or light reflection mm -hmm. so we can't see it. Um, and though, so last time with the solar eclipse, we weren't able to see it, but this time we will be able to see it. Um, Interesting. Yeah, so that's going to be really fun. It's going to start um, on Sunday night right around 8.30, and it's going to last until just about 2 a.m. on Monday morning. But um, peak visibility in Fargo is going to be at 11.11 11 p.m. Oh. Yeah, so that wow. is really fun. That's very specific. Yes, yep. <laughs> I had to double check it this morning. Yeah. But yeah, um, so that will be really fun. Um, it was in the zodiac of Taurus last time. Okay. This time it's in Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is a really intense water sign. Um, they're known for being natural detectives. Um, lots of like themes of power and trust. Um, a lot of, well, so we're in a Mercury retrograde mm -hmm. right now as well, and Mercury is a planet of communication. So right now the big theme is um, coming into information that was not previously disclosed to us. Oh, which yes. could affect trust, Big obviously. time, mm -hmm. big time. Yeah, um, so this time we're going to see themes of maybe like power struggles coming upon information we weren't aware of before, um, emotions coming to the surface that maybe we didn't want to bring up before. So it's, it's going to be kind of a spicy one this time, so but all for the greater good. Brace yourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit ominous, so that's okay. Right. So that's very interesting. Um, and this is one of the things that you do as a part of your yes. work is obviously yep. kind of understand what's going on from a very a big perspective, kind yes. of like a universal perspective. But you also do a lot of other things, and you can do them for individuals as well. So yes. you can tell people, right, how this is going to affect them personally. Right, absolutely. Um, so when I first started studying astrology as a child as a kid really early teens um the first thing i started studying was my own birth chart everyone has their own individual birth chart um and then from there i started working in other people's charts so i was able to start giving readings of their charts to them um and then from there i've moved on to daily transits like daily charts monthly charts um upcoming shifts within the planets um, events. I work in astrocartography now, which is mm. actually relocation. So let's say you wanted to move and you said, hey, Shamani, where is the best place for me to move to? We could actually take your birth chart and overlay it with a map of anywhere you wanted to move to and I could tell you this is the best place for you or this is somewhere you want to stay away from. So there's, there's tons you can do with it, really. That's very interesting yeah. and, and it sounds like really you're giving people insight. Totally, yep. So for people maybe that aren't too familiar with astrology, and, and I'm not, I'll be honest, right. I'm not super familiar with it, is a lot of it kind of understanding energy and how things work, or is it predestined, kind of where are you um, coming from with it? Well, that's, maybe that's everybody's individual, you know, that sure. predestiny thing, I kind of mm -hmm. let that, everybody has their own belief system. Um, so astrology, well, so astronomy is the study of the planets mm -hmm. and the movements, and that's very, you know, maths, graphs, scientific. Astro astrology is the psychological impact that those movements mm -hmm. have on us. So it's thousands and thousands of years of studying, you know, when the moon is in Scorpio, what does that look like for us? And like when the moon is in Scorpio, what does that look like for people individually based upon where it's at in their rotating birth chart? Because your birth chart moves mm -hmm. as you go along in life. And it's interesting that there's, it's not just astrology. There's a lot of different uh, sects of study kind of mm -hmm to understand like when you were born, how that affects your life, different right. things. Everybody's got some different ideas about how this works. So it's really kind of cool. And now you've made predictions in the past that we've talked about that yep. did come true. So it's yep. very interesting to see kind of how that works that are just, you're right on the nose right. with certain things and then it's like, whoa, maybe we should take this yeah. more seriously. In, um, in 2020, there was seven eclipses and that really caught my attention. Um, so for like two and a half years, I just have really intensely studied what the eclipses do, what those movements look like. So now it's kind of a specialty of mine. That is so crazy. Yeah. Well, as always, Shamini, we love having you yeah, here. Yeah, it's because so it's fun coming so on. 
interesting. Make sure you watch out for that lunar eclipse, 11 11 Sunday, Sunday night. Sunday night, yep. Okay, perfect. Now stay with us. Uh, you're going to have your chance to participate in the clinical study that will be huge for families across the nation, but also here in Fargo Moorhead. Stick with us.